I may be a little, a lot excited for this game. Hello, it's me, it's Guhi, and 2022 is here, finally, and we get to play so many new games this year. I'm super stoked. Let's talk about the games we're gonna be able to play in the first quarter of the year. I wanna start with God of War and give you a brief overview of it because it's a game that came out in 2018, but it is re-releasing for the PSC, not <laughs> PC, it's re-releasing for the PC. I'm so used to saying like, PS4, PS5 for God of War. But yes, it got a re-release for the PC. Uh, it came out January 14th. The game itself was a reboot of the series of God of War. If you guys ever played the first three, the mythology was based on Greek mythology, and then it switched over to Norse mythology with the reboot. The new one has a bigger emphasis on story, and the gameplay does a good job of reinventing the wheel a little bit. The developers did a really good job of making the gameplay resemble the old games, but also make it feel new and fresh. I only had one little gripe about the game and that was enemies not having enough variety but that was a minor complaint the game was phenomenal the story was really really good well written and put together and it set it up for the next game god of war ragnarok really well i'm super excited to see the next entry but for now we get to play it on pc moving on though let's talk about rainbow six extraction this game features similar gameplay as rainbow six siege except you get new game modes as now you are infiltrating alien facilities in order to complete objectives. Some objectives include gathering data or extracting intel, and you can play with up to three players online. I'm going to backtrack a slight bit. If you guys aren't familiar with Rainbow Six, it's a first-person tactical shooter that emphasizes gameplay with your teammates. Tom Clancy games have a reputation of being put together very well, both mechanically and graphically. This game does something really cool. If you buy the game, you get something that's called a buddy pass, which gives your friends up to two people a free trial, I would say, of the game for 14 days. And if they decide to buy the game at the end of those 14 days after they've played with you for that amount of time, they get to keep all of their progression until then. I love it when game developers do things like this, although I don't think a trial version of the game is really that amazing. They are emphasizing the co-op of the game, which is really fun with friends, and they're allowing or giving the opportunity to people to be able to play this game for about 14 days before they decide if they want to buy it or not. That is, if they're lucky enough to know somebody that owns a game. Rainbow Six Extraction is available now, and you can pick it up for 40 US dollars. Moving on from Rainbow Six, I want to talk about Dying Light 2. If you guys remember back when COVID first hit, the developers indefinitely delayed this game. That scared a lot of people because they thought maybe that meant the game was canceled, but in reality, they just didn't want to put out release dates and keep letting people down when they knew the game was not ready, which I have a lot of respect for. Well, we finally got a release of the game. We get to play it February 4th, 2022. Dying Light 2 is a direct sequel of Dying Light, and it's going to be expanding on all of the things that we loved about Dying Light and doing a lot more with the story. Not only is the core gameplay scene changes, but the map is said to be four times larger than in Dying Light. We'll be able to run around in seven different regions with the new styles of parkour incorporated in the gameplay. They seem to have upped the horror aspect of the game a little bit more because the dark areas return to Dying Light 2 and they seem more terrifying than ever. I played through the first Dying Light with a group of friends. It was so fun and I'm so excited to see that feature come back in Dying Light 2. They have a big emphasis on choices and your choices having impact on later gameplay and story and even environmental features. And Techland said it's also revamping the parkour core features of the game. We can expect to see vehicles throughout the game, but they're not going to be part of the core gameplay. Overall, the gameplay looks phenomenal. It gives us more dying light, which is something that I have been waiting for for many, many years. And to wrap things up, they have DLC planned and they have much support for the game planned for the next couple of years as well. So far, Techland has been a phenomenal developer and I'm excited to see what they bring to the table with Dying Light 2. When Dying Light 2 comes out, you can pick it up for 60 US dollars. Let's talk about Pokemon. Pokemon Legends Arceus. The new installment in the Pokemon series brings us to he, um, his, Hisui region. Hisui. Hisui? Hisui. Here's why. I'm even more confused. What the f This game takes place before the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and the Pokemon Shining Pearl games. The player is brought into this region to survey and establish the new Pokedex there. It takes the roots of the Pokemon series and brings action and exploration to the mix. Very excited to see this game on January 28th and you can pick it out for 60 US dollars. Next game on my list comes out February 2022 and it is Elden Ring. <laughs> I may be a little, a lot excited for this game. It is the next installment from the so from the software. <laughs> it is the next installment from the series of games that 
from software. Oh, geez. It is from software's next installment of these Soulsborne like games, but this time it takes place in an open world setting. Developer's name is From Software, and it's very difficult for me to process that apparently. I'm not gonna get into too much detail for this game because I made a whole video of everything you need to know prior to the game's release, and you can check that out on my YouTube channel. But to give you a quick overview of some of the things I talked about, the game's mythology and lore have been written by George R.R. R. Martin, the creator of Game of Thrones. Some of the unique things that you can expect from this game that haven't been seen before in From Software games are open world mechanics and a spectral seed, which is a horse that you ride on that adds verticality. I, I explain it all in the video. You guys should check that out. When the game comes out, you guys can pick it up for 60 US dollars. Why does my hair keep going up in the back? All right, guys, to finish off this video, we're going to be talking about Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. This game is a successor to Borderlands 2, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep. And although it's still an action role-playing first-person shooter, it's almost got its own take on tabletop games like Dungeons and Dragons with magic and other cool things that they added to this game. The first time we meet Tiny Tina was actually in Borderlands 2. She made an appearance in Borderlands 3 and she is absolutely bonkers. Of course, every character in those games kind of is, but she, I guess, is extra special nuts and she got a spin-off <laughs> extra special nuts. She got a <laughs> She got a spin-off series, which is Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, where we can expect dungeons, loot, open world mechanics, exploration, and just more Borderlands gameplay. Borderlands has really good core gameplay, and it's got a really unique art style and a really unique sense of humor to its games. It's got a lot of comedy, which I can really appreciate. So I'm super excited to see this on March 25th, 2022. Price is gonna be 60 US dollars. I know I've been saying 60 USD for a lot of these games, by the way, but when they have a special release on the next gen consoles like the PS5 or the Xbox series, you can see a $10 increase. So most of these can be like $70 as well. Are there any games that I may have missed that come out during the first three months of this year you're excited for? Please let me know. Leaving a comment, sharing, liking, and subscribing helps me out a ton, but you guys know the spiel you've been on YouTube before. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful night, day, afternoon, whatever time it is in your time zone, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hissui, his, his we.